Introducing Apple Vision Pro. I'm standing here right now with the brand new Apple Vision Pro, expecting a revolutionary experience, just like when the first iPhone came out. And we are calling it iPhone. But something feels off. Apparently, the Apple Vision Pro was the best thing ever, based on initial feedback. Apple Vision Pro is more than just a new product. It unlocks magical new experiences. Stunning. It's amazing. Perfect for the office. I had over 14 videos planned to test out the Vision Pro on this channel. I actually edited a bunch of thumbnails using the Vision Pro. I've spent considerable time using it in professional settings, just like the Apple ads have promoted it as, as well as an entertainment device. And though everybody is raving about this thing, and I'm very optimistic about the technology in this device, I just don't like it. Anyways, I should probably stop this uh, Subway Surfers video from playing. Hi, Connor. Look, I've always been an Apple enthusiast, from the original iPhone to the latest Macs. Heck, I even made a song all about it. Got the AirPods and a Mac, dongles in my pack, aluminium attack, college space gray, not light black. All maxed out, of course. Ha! Steve Jobs would endorse. Party. Made up in the valley, Cupertino, California. Yeah. Google can't sell me nothing. They can't sell me nothing. I don't trust them with nothing. Gmail is the exception. But the Vision Pro's arrival felt different. Literally. Ouch. Ah, my eyes. The weight, the discomfort, the software glitches, this is just not the Apple experience that I'm used to. To be honest, I kind of questioned myself. Am I being too critical? Is it just early days for such a groundbreaking device? Or is the Vision Pro genuinely underwhelming? I decided to dive deeper to really understand and explore every aspect of the Vision Pro, coming through all the reviews and all the podcasts about this thing. Like, what is this thing that I'm holding? Yo, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. My eyes already hurt. To see if there's something that I'm missing about it. I mean, yes, it's cool that I can have Apple Notes floating in front of Connor right now. I can have my text messages floating over the water, and I can have YouTube displaying all of its homepage glory in front of me as I hang my feet over this ledge and look over at this beautiful lake environment. But why? <laughs> These are all things that I can do on my phone, I can do on my iPad, I can do on my laptop really well and actually use my real eyes. And I think that's the biggest disconnect is, yes, I'm in nature right now, but it does not feel like it. Even though I can touch and feel these rocks right now and I can breathe the fresh air and I'm able to use this headset to see all these things and kind of work in a natural environment, it doesn't feel like reality because I am just looking at a grainy image on screens beaming light into my eyeballs instead of using my real eyeballs. And, you know, everybody loves balls. I've experimented with every feature, the immersive video, the external Mac monitor functionality, and even those AI-based personas that they use for FaceTime. And there were moments of awe, but also frustration and disappointment. For example, this battery pack. Have you guys ever seen those old ads from like the 80s and 90s of the first cell phones? Go where you wanna go, call when you wanna call. It was actually a box that you would carry around your back or kind of like hold as a briefcase. And then the phone was attached to that and they would set it on the table as this big clunky device. That's where we are right now. This battery pack, though designed really well and very apple in its form and function, it just feels like we're regressing in terms of advanced technology. I kind of can't believe that we're in the future and we're using this chunky thing. But you know what isn't chunky? <laughs> Our sponsor today, storyblocks.com. Let's say you're editing a video and the person that is talking is talking about giraffes that they saw in the wild next to Washington, D.C. And they just stood there in the middle of Times Square thinking about this process. How would you cover all this? This is such a wacky conversation that this person is having. Well, that's where Storyblocks comes in. Using the link down below, you can learn more about Storyblocks, which is a place where you can find all of these things and more. Thousands and thousands of clips, all available in a variety of resolutions and codecs. We've got 1080p, we've got 4K, and more. In addition to stock footage, 
Storyblocks also offers video templates for motion graphics and design. So if you're enjoying this video and want to show your support, please click the link down below. Click it. Click it now. Storyblocks.com slash David Altizer to learn more. I use Storyblocks all the time to fill in the holes and you should too. Storyblocks.com slash David Altizer linked down below. Mac display feature. Though it's amazing to be able to see Photoshop from my Mac displayed in front of me in the forest, and trust me, it is truly amazing and it does feel like the future. Things feel a little dark, things feel blurry, and especially my mouse feels a bit laggy. I find as I'm working, and because I've been a professional now on the computer in Photoshop, in Final Cut Pro for over a decade, any little minute tweak in terms of the speed and accuracy of my mouse and keyboard commands just feels off and it feels like I'm just treading water doing my work. So. Could I use this on an airplane? Yes. Could I use this in a pinch? Absolutely. And this is a pretty cool situation, but I promise you, when you look in it, it just feels dim. It feels blurry. It's just not what I wanted and not what I was expecting, to be honest. Also, my battery's at 20% on the Vision Pro, and we've only been filming for about 45 minutes. The Vision Pro is a glimpse into the future of technology, albeit an expensive and heavy one. It's not perfect, but it's a step towards something greater, something Apple is undoubtedly capable of achieving. Just not now. And then put your hand up, or your finger. Oh. 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 oh my gosh. I can't believe this. Oh no, the isn't, world's... Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I want to cry. Bye. <gasps> Remember, I was born in 1961. <laughs> this is like... <laughs> And you can, yeah, you can walk right up to it. Can you get closer? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I never, I didn't even interact with this that much. <laughs> it's not gonna, is it, will it touch you? No. It looks like you, you can't feel anything, but it looks like you can touch it. It looks like you could touch it. It's not real, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> I would just back up, I would just back up a little bit, oh. just so you know it's coming. Oh my okay. goodness. <laughs> This is like going on a ride. It's like a universal ride. It is, Laura. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh. Run away. Oh my gosh. It looks real. I know it does. It looks like he's totally in your room. <laughs> oh, no. Watch out the tables right there, table. Help her. It looks like he's in in your room. He yeah. looks like he's really here. I know, I just shut my eyes. I couldn't handle it. Wait, okay. okay. Don't be afraid to shut your eyes, because I did. He's coming right up to you, Laura. I know. I don't you even know what's going to happen. You can see the snot on him. Oh, wow. Oh! <laughs> he, bit, he bit at me. Oh, wow. I didn't know you <laughs> can interact did. with I it. I put my hand in and he bit at it. I didn't know oh, you could interact. I didn't even do any of that, so. He's doing it. Oh, here comes the other one. Oh, he's coming after me, too. <gasps> oh, my gosh. This doesn't... It's like you're in a movie, but it's you're in it. Yeah, that's the <gasps> end. Dave! <laughs> Isn't that screen crazy? It's unbelievable, you guys. I remember you saying this was going to happen yeah. years ago.